Welcome to Power Your Life Today. I'm Christy Joe, mind and body strategist. Today I'd like to help you think about how you can go from zero to hero. Now I know it sounds kind of goofy and cheesy, but what this is about is when you're feeling super burned out, tired, sick of trying, you have no motivation to even get up in the morning, let alone set goals and go do the things you know you should do, like working out, eating healthy, hurrah, living life. If you've ever been there, like I've been there, definitely multiple times in my life, but I've had to learn how to pick myself up from that spot and how to get going again into that state where then you do have excitement in your life and you feel more motivation. So I'm gonna give you a few things to think about and if you're in this state, write these down. Because oftentimes you hear people talk about setting goals and do all these big things and you're just not there. You're not there and it's so annoying. So don't focus on any of that. You're gonna write down these three things to help you get some momentum going. Now before I share those three things, I want you to picture yourself standing at the top of a hill and you have this gigantic rock in front of you that you need to push down the hill. This is comparing any goal or progress that you wanna make in your life, and that rock, that boulder, is, is heavy. Now, Newton's laws are some of my favorite things because they teach us a lot about life. So, two of them, the first one is, an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force, that's where you're at right now probably. You feel stuck, nothing is getting you going. There, there's no movement. So the thing is, once you get going, then Newton's next law, well actually I think it's the third law. I don't know, we'll figure that out later. But an object in motion will stay in motion until acted upon by an outside force. Usually something's gonna go until either gravity stops it or it hits something. That may have happened to you before. You may have been going really well and then something happened, life event. Yeah, that's gonna stop you. So now you're in this space where it's time to get going again. Well, here's the thing. To get that boulder going, you don't need to always be pushing so hard. You do need to push hard in the beginning to get movement happening, but then gravity is gonna pick up. Momentum's going to happen and it's going to get easier. So don't psych yourself out thinking you have to put all of this effort forever and ever. No, it'll get easier. But in the beginning, you do need a big sheer force. So three ideas to help you with this little this movement and getting the, the boulder rolling in your life are these. Number one, I want you to start doing a power hour. Now I know an hour out of your day may feel like quite a bit, but trust me on this, even two weeks of doing it will change the way you think. It's the first thing when you wake up, spend five to 10 minutes in gratitude, whether that's through meditation or through prayer. Then you're going to spend 10 minutes or so on YouTube, hopefully watching a Power Your Life Today session, or you can find another online mentor that's gonna help you think critically and challenge some of the mindsets that you have. The next 10 minutes is going to be spent journaling about what you have learned and setting some intentions or aha moments, realizations that you had while you were listening. The next 20 minutes spend listening to a book on audible.com or perhaps reading a paperback book, but something in the nonfiction category, something that's going to help you find uh, a little more perspective. Maybe it's a, a book about persistence, about setting goals, about how your brain works. Maybe it's about relationship advice, but 20, you know, 20 minutes or so of putting that time into learning. The second thing I'd like you to do is look for three small wins every single day. Now, sometimes this could be as minimal as I took a shower, I ate a healthy meal with lots of color and vegetables, and uh, I spent 15 minutes cleaning up a messy area of my home. It doesn't matter what your wins are, just have three wins. Maybe your wins are sending an email or making a phone call or apologizing to somebody. Don't go to bed until you've had three wins. That's gonna get the momentum going as well. Last but not least is remember to keep perspective. Life is a roller coaster. It's going to go up, it's going to go down, it's gonna have twists and turns. And a lot of times we get so fixated on the negative parts of life that we forget that there will be some upswings. 
we forget that when we are in an upswing to look around and appreciate the view because we know something else is coming. And when you just hold on for the ride and embrace every part of it, realizing that your control over your attitude is the starting point, that's when you're going to have the most success. So get those three wins in every day, start with your power hour, and keep perspective about the ups and downs of life. This is going to help you get that force going, then the momentum will pick up. That will be the time to set bigger, higher goals. But right now, let's get you going from zero to hero and power your life today. Thanks for watching. If this resonated with you, please share it with one person who comes to mind. Investing in yourself is the best investment you're ever going to make because when you improve your life, everybody around you improves their lives too. Subscribe to this channel so you are really sure to catch our next power session together so you can continue to power your life to one of more service, value, and love. Until then, power your life today.